Well, hello guys. So I am starting off obviously a new vlog. I have to apologize, well not apologize cause it's not, I'm not exactly sorry. I just have to explain. I've gotten a few messages lately of people worried about why I haven't been posting yet because I still haven't posted my first vlog of 2022. But again, I explained it in my last vlog. I just kind of took a long break and it wasn't even so much of a break intentionally as my first trip of the month canceled. So, which was gonna obviously be a vlog. And so I didn't end up vlogging. But this now starts off my second vlog of the month of the year. And there are two things that I'm super excited to share. First off, I do have to start getting ready pretty soon. I'm working a day turn today just to Tampa and back. I worked yesterday. It was a four leg day, it was a very long day. I was working with a friend and it ended up not being so bad. No delays, everything was on time. Um, everyone was great on my flights, the crowds were super nice, so that went well, but I didn't vlog any of it. Today I'm starting this new one, but I decided to start today because I'm actually pretty excited. I, I have my day turn today and then I'm off the next two days, but I wanted to share with you guys, I'm doing Saqqara Life. I wanted to kind of kickstart myself into, I guess it's not so much like a new year's resolution as like a new year's reset for me. And I was like, I wanna make this easy for myself because I know I'm going to be working a lot this month. So I got Saqqara, which is essentially a meal delivery program. But in my personal opinion, it's the best one I've seen so far, pre-made meals. Everything's organic, everything's plant-based. It's beautiful, it's tasty. I've had their food before. If you watched my vlogs from like a year ago, there were a couple vlogs where I was eating Saqqara Life throughout the vlogs. Um, let me share quickly what I have for my food today. So basically I signed up for two weeks worth of Saqqara Life and it's basically Monday through Friday. And then on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, you eat your own food, which is fine. I'm still gonna try to keep it as clean as possible on the weekends, I'm not gonna like go crazy. But this is just gonna be such a good reset for me. I'm trying not to eat like any sugar or really processed foods right now. So I'm very excited about this. Oh my goodness. So the first thing, breakfast, today is Monday. Cinnamon cider donuts with lemon berry. I can never say that, lemon berry compote. Anyway, I'm excited to eat that. I'm actually gonna start eating that now while I get ready for work, because I need some food. And then for lunch, we have Saqqara Earth Bowl with tahini ginger dressing. Heirloom greens are passed down through generations just like family heirlooms, but with gut healing fiber, glow boosting vitamins, and disease fighting phytochemicals, these heirloom greens are truly a treasure. And all of these uh, containers are made from recycled plastic and so you can recycle them again, which is good. So it's not wasteful. And then for dinner, I have this protein power plate. The top got a little wet with golden turmeric flatbread, which I'm super excited. Everything's gluten-free, everything is vegan. I'm not vegan, but, but this meal delivery program is. Oh, and all the ingredients are like listed on the bottom. This one, Superfood Spotlight Green Lentils. So there is a good amount of protein through the lentils through here. I'm gonna have to have this cold today because I will be on the airplane. Anyway, very excited about that. Also, as like in the in the box, they sent this little Saqqara Life package, which is really cool. And it has one of their metabolism super bars in there. I think you can order a whole case if you want. And then this metabolism super powder drink mix. It just says blend one sachet into smoothie, stir into hot coffee, or shake vigorously with eight to 12 ounces of water or milk nut milk and basically it just has like cacao <clears throat> l glutamine 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 i don't know if i'm saying that right horsetail extract kelp it's supposed to be good for energy there's some iron and calcium in it so that's cool i'll probably bring this with me today since i'm going to be working today and the next two days i won't be um and then they give you a little palo santo stick to burn if you want to i think in here welcome to Sakara life Sakara life quick guide this is cute, I'll read this stuff later. Okay, and now I have another haul. I'm eating the cider donuts with the compote. It's so good. All right, I mentioned this, I'm sitting on my floor because it's just easier that way. I mentioned this in my last vlog that someone was kind enough to send me an Amazon gift card. One of you guys, one of the subscribers, 
and um, I wanted to get stuff that would be more of like a haul instead of one thing. And I wanted it to be stuff that could maybe apply to all of you. Maybe someone, someone's gotta be interested in it somewhere, you know what I mean? And some of these products. So, I don't even know where to begin. I have a little pile right here. Um, let's see, first things first. I wanted to wait until everything was here before I did a little haul. But I'll just start, I guess. Thank you again, I'm so beyond, beyond grateful for this. It was too generous, but I'm really excited to try these things. Everything in here is stuff that I don't think I've ever ordered off Amazon before. First thing, I'm really, really excited about these. These are the Peely Nuts. I don't know if you guys have ever tried Peely Nuts. So, activated Peely Nuts. So basically, I had them on my road trip that I went on last June. Forgot where they're from. I know it's like the South Pacific, somewhere like that. Anyway, I got a whole pack of these. They're super high in fat, yeah. One serving is 39 grams of fat, two carbs, but it's technically zero net carbs because there's two grams of fiber in it and five grams of protein. So if you're keto, these are awesome. They're super, super filling. These bags are, these little packets are small, but honestly, like you only need a hand, like a, not even a handful, like half of a handful of them. They taste like crunchy butter to me. They're so good. Anyway, so I got, this is like the variety pack. Oh, I think they gave a little, sample of one that's cute they did a little like himalayan salt one that's so cute i love that i'll throw this in my purse when i need it like in a pinch this one fried in avocado oil peeling nuts this one is with raw cacao so it's like a chocolatey flavor this one's just plain unsalted that might be good in like one of the fruit bowls if you sprinkle some of those in uh rosemary and olive oil and this one is coconut oil and Himalayan salt. They're so good. Some of my other favorite flavors, I think they have spicy ones. I think I got them from Air One when I was in LA. Awesome, I'm really, really excited to have some of these. Which ones should I take with me? I've been waiting for this to come in the mail for so long. This was taking the longest. Oh man, that sucks. You gotta be so careful ordering things from Amazon sometimes. The cat broke, that stinks. The cat broke like off. Oh well. But this is the Bomb Drizzle by Blender Bombs. So basically it's like a date based syrup with cacao and sea salt. Oh my gosh. Dates, aloe vera, cacao, sea salt. Those are, that's it, those are the ingredients. I love Blender Bombs. You guys know how much I love Blender Bombs. I put them in my smoothie all the time. So this would be really good drizzled, like maybe even on those donuts or like anything sweet or like in your coffee. This would be good, like drizzled in or maybe even in your smoothie if you want to sweeten it up. I've been wanting to try that for so long. They have a peanut butter one that I really want to try too. Should I report that it that it showed up broken? Maybe I should. I'll take a picture of it. Okay. Ah, guys, I gotta get ready. These I'm pretty excited about. So I saw these little slippers. I don't even remember where I saw them. They're like these fuzzy little around the house boot slippers look at them they're like these little i don't know they're literally like little slippers they're very um soft let's let's put them on oh my god they're so soft for around the house little slippers oh, they're so soft you guys yes i'm really pumped on these by the way, all of this stuff is listed. It's gonna be listed in my Amazon store and I will individually link this stuff as well um, in the description down below. But y'all should really check out my Amazon store. I'm so excited for it. It's basically all of my stuff that I love from Amazon in one spot. Okay, why am I, this was the first package I got and I'm like already blanking on what's in here. Oh, okay, I remember now. I've been needing, this is for the house. I've been needing some new towels, like microfiber towels. The ones that I have are just like a mess and it's time for new ones. And I decided to get pink ones because it's very on brand for my home. So I got these pink little microfiber towels. I like it already. They kind of match my bath towels in the shower or in my bathroom. They have like a waffle texture. These are really nice. I'm excited about these. So that's those. I love the color, it's so cute. 
Um, oh yes, okay, I see influencers post about these crackers all the time. You have to order them. I haven't seen them in stores, not around here anyway. So I've been dying to try them because everybody raves about them. So I ordered them off Amazon. Ella's Flats, Caraway, oh, Sesame, regular. I'm really excited about these. They're bigger, they're way bigger than I expected. So I'll let you know, you know what, let me just, for you guys, test one right now. The sesame one. Oh my God, these are really good. And you know why I like them? It's really hard to find little seed crackers that aren't too crunchy. These are like crispy. Oh, these are great. These would really be good with like some mashed up avocado or like a little bit of tuna salad. I'm really excited about these. All right, guys. Oh, no, one more thing. And then I gotta hurry up and get ready. And then I'm gonna have to clean up this mess. Okay, my friend Shannon put me onto this little fan. She had it when we did a Miami trip in like the dead of summer. It was so hot. But I got this mainly for my makeup and for when I'm working hot trips in the summertime. Oh, it's, it's charged. So this is a little pink fan. One, it's really good for like setting your makeup. For those of you who wear makeup, you'll know what I mean when you need something to dry so you can continue. This will help that process go a little bit quicker. And it's just good for like when it's hot, hot, hot on the plane and they don't have the APU running yet and you just need to cool off. And maybe you're doing like a Dominican Republic turn or something and you're like, oh my goodness. Or like when I had a Vegas flight and it was like 120 degrees outside. Basically, this is just really good to have on hand in the summertime. It's so cute. It's uh, USB. Oh, it's got two levels. USB charged and you can have this little thingy on it if you want this little rope to hold on to it guys that's everything i got from amazon which i'm like so excited about all of these products it feels like christmas to me getting to open all of this stuff and to know that it was a gift i really i'm gonna share how i like them as i'm using them i already know i love these ella flats and the peel i honestly already know i love all of it i just took a little taste of the bomb drizzle and it's really really good for those of you who like that kind of like salty chocolate taste it's so good um and i already know i like the fan too We'll see how the microfiber towels go. I'm sure they're great. They're cute. I know that much. One other thing I got that I want to share with you guys. This is nothing new. You guys already know. Some of you even call me Olipop Girl, which is really funny. Um, I got my new shipment of Olipop, except I, I switched it up a little bit this time. Well, there goes all the cans, and I just made a huge mess. Basically, what I got is I got the pack that's called Old School Favorites. So it's the cola and root beer ones. And I just made a huge mess. But I'm gonna bring a cola one with me today for, for maybe my dinner on the plane. All right guys, time to get ready. I have like no time at this point. All right, I'm all ready. I'm requesting my Uber now. Oh my goodness. So I mix that metabolism, whatever it's called stuff with the bomb drizzle and my walnut milk cold and I'm drinking it you guys it is so good it is so good this might be like my coffee replacement I haven't had coffee well it's been four days three days I have been having caffeine though no I completely lied I had coffee yesterday mm. but this you guys this is so good Ooh, my driver will be here in five minutes. Good, that gives me a little bit of time. It's like not too sweet, but it's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not as thick as a milkshake and not as sweet, but it's similar to that. It's like a salted mocha latte, but a little milder. Mmm, I really like it. I just blended it up with my whisk. Those cider donuts were insanely good, by the way. Love it, I'm gonna recycle that. I will see y'all on the road.
Good morning. It's not morning. Who am I kidding? It's 12:24. Y'all, I got back. Okay, I got back at midnight last night. <laughs> and then ended up talking on the phone until four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. What? I don't know how much how that time went by so fast. I remember looking at my phone and it was like 318. I was like, what the heck? I have to go to bed now. Cause it sucks because I whatever. So of course I stayed in bed all day. But I don't even feel guilty because one, it's my day off. I feel like I'm always justifying why I'm sleeping in on this channel. Two it's 10 degrees and feels like negative 10 with the wind chill, wind chill in Boston today. It's sunny, which is funny. There's one crazy person on a walk right now. It's actually a few people out. What? It's sunny, so that's like the tricky part. Anyway, I kind of do want to get some sun on my face. But I don't have any intention of being outside today. My goal today is to clean up this place. Look. That was from when I filmed unboxing that stuff. By the way, this rug, I got it, it's from Morocco. Um, I ordered it like a year ago or so. I absolutely love, love, love my rug, but it sheds like crazy and I don't have a good quality vacuum. I really need to get a good vacuum. I need a Dyson so bad. I just haven't bit the bullet to buy one. My couch is Joybird. Um, but yeah, it's a mess in here. There's stuff everywhere and it needs to be swept. That's the other thing, because of this rug, I constantly have to sweep. I'm using my, oh, my little footsie socks, <laughs> little slippers. I feel like an Ewok wearing these, <laughs> but they're so comfortable. They're really warm. They're almost like too warm. It's like surprisingly hot in my apartment because the sun was shining in here. I don't know, I wanna make coffee, but I like don't have very much coffee. My, the last of my Emma Chamberlain coffee, I'm sad it's gone. On winter days, I just wanna stay in and make my own coffee, you know? Yeah, I don't think it's enough. Oh no, it's enough for like one, one little French press of coffee. Let's try out these new microfiber towels. There's like water. Ooh. These are really good. My other ones would kind of just, they wouldn't really absorb the water, but this, this just gets everything right off. So easy. I'm gonna have to like fold it because they're so big. I love it. And they're pink. So perfect. I forgot to put it in the little cute stand. While I wait for my coffee to steep, I have like a little rant I wanna go on. So last night, last night my cab driver drove me home. At first he was nice, he was cool. It's funny how it got like went downhill. We were talking about Boston, he said the same thing everyone says, you know, like, oh, it's getting so expensive. And like, and that's something I say too, because it's true, Boston is expensive, but I mean, it's one of the most expensive cities in the country. It's in like top three. Uh, I know it teeter tot. It's like New York, San Francisco, and then sometimes Honolulu and Hawaii and Boston kind of like go back and forth. But I, I understand that it's expensive. Obviously, I live here. But he was made. He made a comment. He was like, "Oh, I've lived in this part of Boston for 23 years, and it's insane how expensive it is now." Just true. It is getting gentrified as well. I like, and I'm. I guess I'm part of it. I am part of the gentrification. I'll admit that. I live in like a luxury apartment complex, you know, that's like the bane of gentrification or like, you know, the definition of gentrification. Um, we were talking about it, talking about it. And then when he, when we get out of the car, 
he asked me how much I pay for rent. And I was like, whatever, I'll just tell him. He goes, wait, wait, let me guess. And he guesses a range and his range is correct. I told him how much I pay. And he was like, he literally goes, you're so stupid. <laughs> Except he was like mad. He was like, you're stupid, you're stupid. And I was like, am I? He's like, you could have, for paying that price, you could have a house with a yard and, and multiple bedrooms and blah, blah. And he like names a part of some suburb. And I'm like, yes, I could have more space, but that's not what I want right now. I'm not looking to go live in the suburbs and have a house with a yard and be far from the city. I'm, more doesn't always mean more. I'm, I pay a pretty penny for this apartment, but to me it's worth it. Is it outrageous, the price? Yes, all of the apartments are in Boston, but I want the convenience of being in the city close to Logan, the airport, close to like all the restaurants and stuff I like to go to, close to my network of friends here. I like the conveniences of living in this building. I have a big gym. Um, there's beautiful views from my building. Like, I like it here. I feel safe too. That's the other thing. I feel safe. So it's like, it's not a matter of me being stupid. It's about that cab driver and myself having completely different priorities in life. You know what I mean? Like, and at the end of the day, I can afford it. So it's funny. And I've had people say that to me before. Like, why don't you just like move out to da 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 and then you can get this for this. And it's like, I, I hear a lot, of, a lot of pilots say, no shade on pilots, but a lot of pilots, they live in certain, like they all live in New Hampshire because it's cheaper. I get that. There's nothing wrong with New Hampshire either. New Hampshire has its perks, but then the, I'll, I'll hear pilots say like, no, there's nothing going on out there. Like where I live, it's like a really sleepy town, kind of boring, blah, 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 but it's cheap. Like, okay, so you're saving money, but you're sacrificing living somewhere fun. And these are like single guys too. They're not all necessarily with families. There's a lot of single like pilots who live in the city who are willing to pay certain amount for their apartment but it's just different priorities when i want children and and i'm settled down that's a different story when i want like a family and i need more space and i want to get out of the city but right now this is where i want to be so that doesn't make me stupid <laughs> he got so mad i think because he was saying like taught we were talking about gentrification and then it, it was triggering for him which i can understand hearing me say like how much i pay for rent but it's just funny how some people just kind of assume everyone wants the same thing. Or like you're, that's the American dream. You're supposed to want as much space and as big of a house as you can afford, as your money can get you. I don't care about how big my house is. I don't care about how big my space is. I could live in the same neighborhood and have a much bigger apartment for the price that I pray, play, bleh, pay for this tiny studio. But I love my studio. I, I like, this is the perfect amount of space for me. And it's nice. I'm paying for the quality and the location, not the size. Anyway, that's my rant. I was thinking about that last night after he dropped me off. He almost ran over my foot because he drove away so angry. Um, told me I wasted his time. Dude, it was crazy. He was so nice and then it just went this guy literally almost ran over my foot. It was, I had to like move my foot out of the way cause he was like, like crazy. Told me I wasted his time. I don't know what that means. I'm like, okay. He said, I've been waiting for three hours and you give me a short, short ride. You wasted my time. <laughs> like, sorry, it is not my fault that I live where I live and, and you weren't getting business. I'm sorry. I try to be compassionate about it, but don't be rude. I'm trying to like pay you and leave you a tip and, and you're gonna talk down to me and tell me I wasted your time and then call me stupid on top of it. Whatever, I, I, don't, I don't take it personally because I know something was like triggered in him and he's got his own stuff going on, but don't run over my foot. That's, that's when you're trying to physically harm me or don't care if you physically harm me, that's when things get bad. He was gone in the night. I was a little frustrated after that conversation, but then I just realized like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's my rant about that cab driver and that whole conversation and perspective of people being like, 
you could have this over this for this much. That's not what I want. <laughs> anyway, I think my coffee's ready. Okay, so I'm putting it in this because I'm gonna mix it. I am going to throw in this. Vital Proteins Collagen Creamer. I'm gonna do a scoop of this. I'm gonna mix it with my little matcha whisk. And now to make it good, I'm gonna do a little bit of balm drizzle. You know what, I'll do that in a minute. I'll put this in here, some walnut milk on top. Yes, walnut milk and the creamer, cause that's how I like it. Some cinnamon. It's not as hot anymore, but it's really good. Have my little crate and barrel cup. People always ask me where this cup is from. I got it at Crate and Barrel about a year ago. I bought so many random little mugs because I didn't want two of the same with any mug. So I have so many cool mugs. Tuesday breakfast. Cherry vanilla parfait. Yummy. Looks like one of my little fruit bowls that y'all know I love. Looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna put on, I can't decide if I wanna put on YouTube or if I want to put on a podcast to clean. I think I'm gonna put on YouTube now and then put on a podcast. All right, I know it might not look like much, but my couch needs to be fluffed up. I swept, I dusted, cleaned off my little coffee table. Kitchen still needs work, but finally washing my humidifier, which really needed it, and my, I use the canopy humidifier, and my water filter, I use a Soma water filter. This is part of my, see, canopy, this is my part of my humidifier. That's all in there, because that stuff really needed to be clean. Anything that holds water regularly, I always, it, it gets really moldy, so you need to clean that. Um, I really have to be on top of that. It's just some things soaking in there. Um, and then over here, kind of going through my suitcases, my work bags, got some wet clothes kind of laying out and then I have a bunch of that's all recycled stuff in the corner but it's food time it is lunch time I'm gonna have the prosperity pad thai superfood spotlight superfood spotlight kelp wow this is really pretty so these are all the noodles, I believe, and then greens. They always just load everything up with so much greens, which is really good because I just really need that right now. But Lord, look at that pink kelp, it's beautiful. All right, guys. It's editing time. I'm gonna sit here, edit. <clears throat> Cracked open a little Olipop for while I edit, as well as chlorophyll water. I should light that candle, make it nice in here. It's a good idea. I changed my mind, no candle. We're doing diffuser vibes instead, because I wanna be focused. So I put some Lang Lang in here, I'm gonna put a couple drops of peppermint oil and sweet orange. There you go. All right, it is now dinner time. Dinner is maple sweet potato bowl. You can heat it up. So I'm gonna heat it up, plate it. Let's see how it looks. A little messy, but I'm sure it's delicious. I usually don't eat a lot of like starchy things like potato, sweet potatoes, but hopefully this is pretty good. It looks good. So I ate my dinner, it was good. Um, it was tasty. I ended up putting a little bit of hot sauce on it, which made it pretty good. But I wanted something else. I don't know if I'm like dehydrated, right? I don't really know what it is. I needed something like, I wanted something really hot, so I made bone broth. I feel like the theme of my winter so far is bone broth, everything, bone broth. But it's really good and really needed. <sighs> and it's like hitting the spot exactly like I wanted. I think now is the time to light my candle. I'm watching a vlog right now before I finish editing mine. I like to take a little break because it, this vlog took hours to edit. Um, not the one you're watching now, the one I'm about to post. 
my first vlog of 2022 and I had like over an hour worth of footage that I like had to cut and break down to broke it down to like 30 minutes 30 something minutes but it takes up so much time I enjoy it I love editing but anyway I have to take a break from it because I've been watching myself for three four hours now talking and you just got to like step away get some stuff done clear your head distract yourself and then I'm going to go back and watch the final edit of my video to see if it needs any like tweaks and then I'm gonna have it uploaded and scheduled to go live tomorrow morning my face is super puffy I'm not sure why maybe I didn't drink enough water yesterday well when my face is puffy that means ice roll time oh it feels so cold this thing is such a lifesaver this face ice roller oh my god plus it's cute <laughs> this is gonna sound so funny whenever i'm editing my videos and there's a scene or a clip with me using this i always just like the way it looks because i just love how pink it is i'll leave a link for it below i use this for just mainly for when my face is puffy and to wake myself up but it really helps with if you have a headache or if you're a little hungover, if you went out the night before, it's like a lifesaver. I really need to work out today. I didn't move yesterday. I never left my apartment because it was 10 degrees outside. My first video of 2022 just went live and it feels so good. So I ordered coffee to be delivered from GoPuff. I ordered another pack of Emma Chamberlain coffee. I love the social dog coffee. I'm absolutely obsessed with one, the packaging. It's pink, it's cute, it's adorable. I just love Emma Chamberlain. For those of you who don't know, she's like one of the biggest YouTubers on YouTube. She's a big deal. I think she has like 10 million subscribers. I love her. Um, and her coffee company is so cute. So they sell the social dog on GoPuff. I couldn't decide, I'm sitting here, I'm like, do I want hot coffee or do I want cold coffee? What do I want? So back and forth and I decided I'll just buy both. So I bought the Emma Chamberlain, I'll show you guys when it gets here, coffee and then I got La Colombe cold brew. <sighs> I'm just waiting for that to get here. I love GoPuff because they deliver stuff in like 15, to 30 minutes it's usually so fast one time i ordered a bunch of stuff off gopuff and it got here in under 10 minutes after when i ordered it they have like snacks and household items i've gotten like paper towels for them from them i've gotten like chips i've gotten candy i've gotten like frozen cauliflower crust pizzas they have smart sweets they have olipop i know for sure they're in south florida and in boston obviously i'm sure they're all over california i'll leave a little link I think they give you a referral code. I don't know if they're still doing that or not. I'll double check. And if I can leave a link for it uh, for you guys, I will. And you can see if it's in your area. It's cheap too. They don't give you crazy delivery fees. That's the best part about it. I love it. It's not like an extra $10 on top of what you're buying. We got the GoPuff order. Cute little blue bags. Oh my God, this is so big. I always forget how big these are. I got the la colombe cold brew i'm definitely gonna have cold brew today so cute the coffee is genuinely good i promise but i am just so obsessed with the packaging breakfast time orange blossom waffles with blueberry compote i'm so excited for this mm. i threw some ghee on there but these are so good i remember having these about a year ago so tasty i've just been doing arm workouts with this weight i think oh that is that's the list i keep forgetting to make on my amazon storefront is active stuff that I have and use. So I will do that tonight. I have to edit a video tonight, get ready for my trip tomorrow. That's gonna be a whole new vlog and finish my Amazon store. But yeah, oh, my battery's dying. Anyway, I've been doing arm workouts. I need to get moving. I'm drinking my chlorophyll water. I'm gonna, once I finish my walk, can't decide if I'm gonna do it outside or on the treadmill. It's too cold outside. I'm gonna come back and eat my Saqqara lunch. 
I am back from my walk. So I ended up just going on a nice long walk outside. Uh, and my mom called me, which was nice. I ended up walking more probably because I was on the phone with her. I didn't end up going to the gym, but that's okay because I did my weights here for the most part. And, um, and then I just, I walked for about 30 minutes, got some fresh air, which felt really good. So no need to really go into the gym. Plus I procrastinated all day. It's time for me to eat my lunch at 4.30. And the lunch for today, Wednesday lunch, is by Saqqara, the Equinox salad with stone fruit tahini. So there's quinoa, there's some squash, some beets. Okay, this is pretty, this looks pretty good. I mean, so basically I'll mix the dressing, the tahini and all of this up with the greens and they give you little, a little case of, what is this? I don't know. There's echinacea in here, which is pretty cool. Super good for your immune system. So far, okay, so today's day three of Saqqara life and strictly Saqqara life other than maybe a bone broth here, maybe a, a Lily's peanut butter cup treat. I haven't really had anything else. So my meals have strictly been Saqqara life and I have to say, I feel really, really good. I feel light, but satisfied. Like each meal has been very satisfying for me. I'm so tempted to put a fried egg on here. I'm like craving a fried egg. I think I'll, I'll throw a fried egg on here. But other than that, like this is so good. The, the food is amazing. And I noticed when I was walking, talking to my mom that the way it's like the way my leggings fit, like they, they're they coming up higher because I'm not bloated. A lot of times when I'm bloated and I'm wearing leggings, they start to ride down, but they haven't been doing that. It, my leggings almost feel, they're not loose, they're still fitted, but they just, everything fits completely different. I, I think one, and my the digestion situation has been like amazing. Sorry for the TMI, but it's, everything has just, I feel like I've dropped water weight. My energy is through the roof lately. And the past like three days I've been doing this. And I'm almost sad that I'm not gonna get anything for Saturday and Sunday because I really want more Saqqara Life food. But I'm doing this for two weeks, so. But Saqqara Life was fairly affordable for me. You guys know I spend a lot of money at Whole Foods, so Saqqara Life, I got a 20% discount. I think I used the Almost 30 podcast, their discount code. Um, so I got 20% off of two weeks and two weeks was $700. It is pricey um, cause I know some people they don't spend very much on food. I spend a lot on food as it is. So I, for me it, it made sense and I'm looking at it as an investment in getting back on track and not ordering Uber Eats anymore. <laughs> I love Uber Eats. It's so convenient but this is like okay. Honestly, with the amount of money I spend on Uber Eats in combination with Whole Foods, spending this money on Saqqara Life, on clean, healthy, fresh foods, it's it's really worth it. I do need to go back to Whole Foods and I will have another Whole Foods haul coming for you guys soon. All right, I've been editing my vlog. Then I had to go pick up packages because I had an Amazon delivery. My little vlog editing setup. One day I'm gonna have a nice, one day. We're manifesting it right now. I'll live in a bigger place. I know I already went on a rant about liking how small this place is. I do like the size. But down the road, I'm gonna have a big desk with a big computer screen so that I can edit my vlogs and there'll be a nice like window behind it so I'll get some like nice light coming in and I won't be hunched over on my couch editing my vlogs on my laptop. <laughs> Down the road, we'll see. The place I live after here. Anyway, let me share what I got from Amazon. I'm actually pumped about this and this is going to be a reoccurring theme in my vlogs because this is kind of about like new habits and whatnot, healthy habits. And I got this to kind of help me out. So last year, 
I didn't use my gym as much as I wanted to use it. I just got sucked into staying inside, staying warm, kind of like I did yesterday. I definitely should have gone to the gym yesterday. There's no excuse for me not to, other than the fact that it was 10 degrees outside and I didn't want to move. And, but my gym is in my building, so I don't even know why. Whatever, so, oh my God, it's beautiful. So this, I bought this calendar. It's tearaway pages, so I can put them on my fridge. It's so much bigger than I thought it was. This is like, I don't know if you can tell, it's like weird lighting in my place. This is lilac with like gold little dates, gold little whatever you wanna call it, I don't know. I'm gonna put it on my fridge and then mark off each day that I exercised so that I can keep an exercise quality. It's not, not like a walk around my building. Exercise has to be like weights and like some good cardio, like a decent exercise. So pretty, you guys. And then I got these highlighters to mark across the days. So these are interesting. Hmm. Wow, look at how pretty. This is February. I always like to look at July, my birthday month, <laughs> to see what color or what picture it is on the calendar. Does anyone else do that or is that just me? Like always, whenever you look at a calendar, look what month yours is and like that's yours, that's your birthday month. Mine's the same as January, the lilac, it's pretty. All of this stuff will be in my Amazon shop. Same with this lip balm that I just used. My lips got like chapped, I think from my walk earlier. This is the lip balm I've been using for, it's all messy, but for, I don't know, five years now or something like that. The Maybe four years, the My Matcha Stick, it works really well. Maybe I should do like one, that that's on my Amazon shop page too. Um, maybe I should do one color for like, if I did upper body workout and one color for if I did like lower body workout. Pink will be every day, regular workout. No, blue will be every day, regular workout. Pink will be arms, I guess. I don't know, I'm probably gonna forget that. Okay, second thing I got. So I'm so upset on my Rochester layover. I left the book that I'm currently reading in the hotel room, but it was a hardcover book and kind of like, I'm, I'm sad that I don't have that specific book anymore, but I got a new one. Where the Crawdads Sing, I know it's like, a bestseller um i'm only like a fraction into it guys do not give me any spoilers i'm gonna be so angry because i know this won't be finished before then please if you've read it no spoilers you'll be blocked from the channel if you give me a spoil i'm not even kidding i hate when people spoil things like tv shows and movies you'll be blocked <laughs> anyway um where the Crawdads Sing. I'm really enjoying it so far. It all takes place in the low country where I grew up. So yeah, I ordered a new one. Now I have like regular soft cover, whatever. Okay, so let's see. I did arms today. I did arms, I'm really just arms today. I'm not really gonna say I did cardio. Like my walk wasn't really enough to be called cardio. What's today the 12th? So I'm just going to, it doesn't show up, but honestly, I'm like okay with this subtle, subtleness. Yesterday I didn't work out at all, but the day before I did get a good cardio in. Did I the day before that? I don't even remember. I'll rack my brain and figure it out, but I am already obsessed with it. And I'm just gonna stay on track. That way like I can kind of keep track of my consistency with working out. That's my biggest thing is consistency. So being able to look at the month as a whole and like how, see how much I've been able to get done I think will be really encouraging for me to stay on top of staying consistent, essentially, so. All right, dinner is going to be this pasta a la vodka with kale parmesan, yum. And I am going to, it's heating optional, so I'm gonna heat it in my pot, in my, my pot, my pan. I'm gonna spray a little bit of avocado spray. This is the Trader Joe's one. I think it's pretty good. All right, you pause, it's so loud. I'm watching the Architectural Digest, Nina Dobrev, giving a tour of her home and I'm obsessed, it's so beautiful. But here's my pasta, I already tried a little bit and oh my goodness, it is so good. Um, this is like the kale parmesan, they give you so much. I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of it on here, I guess. I don't know if I was supposed to dump that in while I was heating it, whatever. Delicious, guys, it's so good. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's now almost 11. I just wanna take like a really hot shower and wind down. I'm gonna go to bed soon. I'm gonna read before bed because I just want like a chill, calm night. Three days of Saqqara life though, I feel really good. I cheated, I do have to admit. I cheated and I had one of the Trader Joe's green tea mochis. <laughs> I wanted like a little sweet treat. So I ate that. I mean, it's, I'm trying not to do sugar right now and that is sugar obviously. Um, but I'm really proud and happy that I've been eating all incredibly clean, whole foods, plant-based meals because that is still making a massive difference. I feel, I feel light. Like I was saying before, my energy has been really high since the three days I've been doing this. I cannot wait tomorrow. You have to tune in for my next vlog to see what I get for Thursday and Friday. Tomorrow is my West Palm Beach trip, so I'm gonna be vlogging that. Anyway, I'm, I'm winding down to kind of help calm myself and chill out. I am putting magnesium in my tea, valerian root. I have reishi powder. I don't know if I should use that. or I think I should. I'll throw some reishi in there. Hold on. The reishi kind of looks like dirt, but it, it really helps calm you, calm you down. But yeah, I'm just going to put all this stuff in a teacup and drink that. Take my shower and go to bed but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's mainly like a me at home vlog and Saqqara life um, but if you're interested in Saqqara life so far I really recommend trying it I can't wait to see what the rest of this week and what all of next week brings me well anyways guys I'm gonna wrap up here for those of you who are new here my name is Vera you can follow me on Instagram at balanced flyer go ahead and hit like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already and I can't wait to see y'all in my next vlog. Please say hello in the comments. And if you've ever tried like a meal program that you love, I'm interested to hear about it. Or if you would consider ever doing like a delivery meal program. Let me know. All right, bye guys.